Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is the story of the Tulip Mania by Manly P. Hall. An article taken from Horizon, the magazine of useful and intelligent living, volume five, number three, winter 1945. The story of the Tulip Mania by Manly P. Hall. About the middle of the 16th century, our familiar flower, the tulip, was brought to Europe from Turkey, where its name means a turban. The rage to possess tulip bulbs became an obsession with the rich and aristocratic families of Holland and Germany. In 1634, the Dutch developed such an acute form of tulip mania that all other industry was neglected, and the entire population embarked in the tulip trade. Rich burghers spent half of their fortune for a single root, and the bulbs were sold for so much a grain at a price little less than that of diamonds. A small bulb of Admiral von der Oyck was worth 1,200 florins, and a still smaller root of Admiral Liefkin was considered cheap at 4,400 florins. One prosperous dealer in Amsterdam offered 12 acres of building ground for one tulip bulb. A rare specimen of the Amsterdam tulip brought 4,600 florins in money, a new carriage, two grey horses, and a complete suit of harness. Some very humorous incidents occurred during the height of the tulip mania. A sailor, seeing what appeared to him a small onion on the counter of a merchant's shop, slipped it into his pocket to eat with his lunch of fine red herring. The poor sailor did not realize that his supposed onion was a rare bulb of Semper Augustus, worth 280 pounds sterling. The sailor was arrested while sitting contentedly on a coil of rope chewing up the last morsel of the precious onion. He insisted that the flavor of the bulb was excellent and was surprised to find himself committed to prison for a long term on a charge of grand felony. An English traveler and amateur botanist by avocation suffered an equally distressing experience. He chanced to see a small tulip root in the conservatory of a wealthy Dutchman. Being unfamiliar with the plant, he took out his penknife and peeled off several of the outer layers then methodically, he cut the remainder of the bulb into two equal sections with truly scientific interest. About this time, the Dutch merchant appeared in a fury, demanding what the Englishman was doing. Peeling an onion, replied the amateur botanist. Death and the devil, screamed the Dutchman. You have cut an Admiral van der Eyck in half. Thank you, replied the Englishman, taking out his notebook. Are these admirals common in your country? The Dutch merchant caused the astonished Englishman to be brought into the presence of a magistrate, where he learned to his amazement that he had been whittling on a priceless tulip bulb. The poor botanist was lodged in prison until he found securities to pay 4,000 florins for his scientific urge. In 1636, the tulip found its way into the stock exchange in Amsterdam and other large Dutch cities. Gambling in tulips became the principal profession of the day. Fortunes were made and lost in a few hours, and everyone from princes of the blood to chimney sweeps were buying interest in their favorite bulbs. The business became so complicated that legal codes had to be drawn up for the guidance of dealers. The result of the mania was an inflation that affected even the necessities of life. Then came the crash in 1636. Almost overnight, the bottom fell out of the tulip trade. Many investors were ruined and many noble houses impoverished. There was a wave of suicide, and for a time it seemed that the entire country would go bankrupt. The government was unable to find any remedy for those who had ruined their estates, speculating in tulip bulbs. And it was finally agreed that all commitments were to be cancelled, and the transactions should be at the mutual satisfaction of buyer and seller with no recourse to law. It is said that some Dutch families were more than a hundred years in recovering their financial status after the collapse of the tulip industry. During the difficult years of the Second World War, tulip bulbs also played an important part in Dutch economy. When all other foodstuffs failed, the spunky Hollanders survived for several years with these bulbs as a principal article of diet. A tulip bulb would bring relief from the pangs of hunger for an hour or two. In this way, the tulip has atoned for the damage which it caused in the 17th century. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.